hello and thank you for watching. In this video, I'm going to unbox and review Barbie Looks number nine. Now, I am super excited. Number one, it's a made to move body. Number two, he was kind of hard to find. And number three, it's a brand new sculpt. And guess what? This doll is even better than you think he is. So let's get this doll open and take a look. So this is the box for Barbie Signature Looks number nine, and I am super excited. So let's do a close-up of what he looks like in the box, and look at that. Doesn't he look better here than he did in those promo pictures? When I saw the promo pictures, I wasn't sure if I was going to keep him, if he was just gonna be a body donor or what, but wow, he looks really good just even behind this plastic, so I can't wait to get him out. So I wanna take a look at the box really quickly. It says looks on this side here, very cool. And on this side here, we see that it is model number nine. Now on the back of the box, it has the other dolls in this collection, as you can see. And now we finally have the names of the sculpts here. So their first one, of course, is Cam. That's the one that I am reviewing today, Barbie Looks number nine. And his name is Cam. The other ones that I reviewed previously were Tamika, which was number seven. And there was also Andra, which was looks model number eight. So we have three new sculpts in this collection, and it's very, very exciting uh, to see them, especially with these made-to-move bodies on the back here. It says Barbie Looks is curated collection, and you can pause that if you want to read it. I'm not going to put everyone through all of that. So enough of my going on and on about this box. Let's get him open. Since this is a $20 doll and I'm not planning to keep this, I'm not trying to open it too gracefully. Let's give him some shake a shake a shake -a. that's not working. So let's pull. Uh, <laughs> sometimes straightforward is best. So I'm going to put that down and let's do a close up of him in this box. And I, wow, he is really handsome. It's really funny because in the promo pictures, he kind of reminded me of the male Indian or Native American doll from the Pocahontas series. But when I see him right here, I don't see that at all. They did a really good job with the sculpt and also so far, what I see with the screening, I'll do close-ups and 360s of him in just a bit. I just wanted you to see him, what he looks like now in his liner. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to remove him from this liner. I'm going to do it off camera because as you see, his hair is sewn in to the back of the liner here. So I'm going to do that very carefully with my blade and it's gonna take a while, so I don't wanna do that on camera. So, I'll be right back. So this is a close up of Barbie Looks number nine, Ken featuring the new Cam sculpt. So look at that, I'm going in. Look at him. Really, very handsome sculpt, I really, and screeny. It's not cartoony. Actually very nice, but not overly, you know, real life done. And he's got this really long hair. Let's pull back some so that you can see that. And it's tied back here. And thank you, Mattel, for giving him a center part. Now, I'm not trying to read y'all over at Mattel, but you know in the past, They've done like the thatching in the front or the rooting from the front and it gets like really high in the in the front. It's really weird and you have to try to hold it down and get all sorts of gel. And with the center part, it doesn't look like you're going to really have those issues. And I'm very excited about that. Now, I'm going to pull back so that you can see him on the made to move body. 
Now, earlier what I did was I actually removed his pants and I cut out the little cardboard things that were in here that kept him from bending his leg. So just know that when you get him that he has those, you'll have to remove his pants. And I think that is why Tango showed up today. Sorry, Tango, you missed it. <laughs> So like I was saying, he does come on the made to move body and I'm very excited about that because as you know, it's so poseable. And he does have this oversized shirt here that doesn't have any openings or closings. So obviously you'll have to pull it on and off over his head or actually I guess because it's wide enough, you should be able to actually have him step into it. He has these silver pants and they do have the velcro opening in the back and he also has these boots which are really cool i don't remember seeing these boots before for ken let me know in the comments if you've seen these boots before but they're very very cool i mean I, of course we weren't going to get like you know material shoes but this actually looks really good for a black plastic boot so I'm gonna pull back more. Let's look at him all styled and posed already. I actually do want, to, because I they don't have his skin tone listed on the Mattel Creations website, I want to do a comparison with the Fashionista Ken number 167 to see if he is a skin tone match for Barbie Looks number nine. So I did a body swap with both of them, as you can see, this is them with each other's bodies. And honestly, it looks like it's a match to me. What do you think? So Barbie looks number nine does come with a certificate of authenticity. And as you can see, it's Barbie signature, black label, also being a collectible doll. Thank goodness, thank you, Mattel. We got a doll stand for him and as you can see, it's got the wider waist grip on here to accommodate for the male body. So very cool. Thank you, Mattel. So what I would like to do is I'd actually like to smooth his hair up just a little bit, maybe just run a comb through it just a little bit, just to tidy him up and do a 360 on him and also introduce him to our panel to see what they have to say about this doll and his fashion. I would like to welcome our panel. First, from JHD Toys, the beautiful and attractive Adonis. Next, from the Donya Zar Show, nosy reporter EJ Mountain. Wait, 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 wait. What is going on here? Uh, nosy reporter, I remember you from the first episode of the Don Yazar show when you were selling bodies on eBay. I'm keeping an eye on you, nosy reporter. <laughs> and last but never least, actress, model, singer, and apparently the great grandmother of all integrity toys, dolls, according to Jason Wu, Alyssa Rodriguez. And Alyssa, I see you already have a note for me. Hmm. And what do you have to say? I feel like the Bachelorette. You know, I guess with all these guys here, I could see how you could kind of feel like that, but this is not the Bachelorette. We're here to talk about Barbie looks number nine. Alyssa, that outfit looks really familiar. Hey, wait a minute. Did you steal that from Andra from last week's episode? <laughs> oh, Alyssa, you should be ashamed of yourself. And you have another note. What do you have to say for yourself? I wanted my fans to see how the outfit should look. Oh, Alyssa, you're too much. All right, let's do our 360. So I wanted you to see him from all angles before I went in closer. And you can see how the pants and everything look from behind and of course the hair, but let's go in closer like Nosy Reporter. 
here is that sculpt. Really nice, and you can see the hair. Although it's straight, it has a nice wave to it. I did put a comb through it with a little bit of hot water, just to soothe it down just a little bit, but I didn't want to really do too much to it. And what a great sculpt. As you can see, it's the made to move body, which you've seen a million times. Well, let's go in close to take a look at the material on those pants. And while we're going down, let's, wait, I didn't say that. Let's take a look at those boots here. And as you can see, they're the hard plastic boots, but I mean, for hard plastic boots, I do like the style of them. And I'm gonna go up so that you can see his hair. And of course, close-ups of that face. And if you wanted to see the material on his shirt, as you can see, it's a little bit sheer, which is hot, in my opinion. And when I say hot, I don't mean like hot, hot, but you know, like hot as in really trendy. And that is our 360 of Barbie looks number nine. And Andrew, really, you really didn't have to stay here for the whole thing. <laughs> Adonis, I'm going to start with you. And I see you have a note for me. And see, what do you think of Barbie looks model number nine? And you say, he looked like a girly man. <laughs> Okay, Adonis, wait a minute. Number one, I refuse to believe that you have that accent. Number two, not everyone can have the large and muscular body that you have, so don't hate on people. And nosy reporter, no, nosy reporter EJ? Oh no, not again. Put them back, put them back. You can't sell them on eBay. <laughs> And Alyssa. <laughs> Alyssa? <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, and you have a note for me. You say, I pick bachelor number one. <laughs> um, Alyssa, that's not what this is. Uh, 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 thank you, panel. <laughs> So Barbie looks number nine is even better than I thought he would be. Honestly, when I first saw him, I was like, oh, he'll be a nice doll to get. But honestly, he is beautiful. Mattel, this is what adult collectors want. They want this kind of look, articulation. And because we have student loans, we need to keep it at $20, please. <laughs> so my recommendation, to collectors out there. This is a doll to get your hands on, but please leave a few for me because I need a few more. So I hope you liked this video. And if you did, then please make sure that you click the like button. That's how I know that you like my videos. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, then you're not going to get notified of when I come up with fantastic videos like this one. So thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.